Hi, my name is Bjorn and this is a Yeti tutorial where I'm going to talk about the group node. Now, I wanted to start off by saying if you've seen Monsters University by Pixar, you'll have noticed that there's a lot of fur simulation going on and then they have cloth on top of the fur and then they have another piece of cloth on top of the cloth. And so how do they do that? Well, the truth is that they don't have fur simulation underneath the cloth. And we could do something similar in Yeti by using the group node. So what I'm doing here is I have two import nodes and I'm importing my sphere and I'm importing my ground plane. Which could also be a piece of cloth that you have on your character or whatever you're doing. So just connect your scatter node and your um, ground plane, or in this case ground plane, to the group node and give your group a name. And I'm just going to call it bounding. I'm going to set it to bounding object. Now all I need to do is actually just create a grow node. And then in the grow node, under common, I'm going to put in the name of the group that I have connected. Now, as you can see, when I move the sphere, the ball, underneath my bounding object, the fur will start growing when it's underneath. And this is a setting you can tweak in the group node as well. I can set it to be active above and inside, or underneath, or in this case here, uh, when it's close to the geometry. So that's a neat way of, uh, of having, for instance, like Pixar did, both fur and cloth simulation without having them interact too much with each other. Right, so if you like this tutorial or want to give me another shot, log on to my homepage and find more efficient tutorials on Yeti, but also other useful things. Just just blubbyabee.com.